Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 24, and this is war number 9. And we're going up against an alliance, as you can see, called Avengers. Alright, so we're going to dive in here, we're going to take a look at my paths, and we're going to see what team I'm going to come in here with. So, first off, let's go over here, I take path 3 in section 1. And as you can see, they did not place a defender. That's uh, very common on that first node. Save their defenders for some of the tougher nodes. Uh, and then he, we have this guardian here. And my Claire should be able to handle that guardian. Now, I was thinking of bringing in Corvus uh, against this guardian. As soon as I see tech, I think Corvus. All right. And then you see here we've got uh, a sentinel again. I could bring in Corvus, but Claire will probably handle that first uh, Guardian without a problem. All right, and then we've got Kingpin. Um, we've got Nick Fury. Probably uh, we have others that can handle those. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant shouldn't be too much of a problem if I wanted to come in here with my own Black Widow Clairvoyant. All right, uh, Section 2. I'm looking here, we've got a Heimdall. Uh, so Claire, again, can handle that. Now, this one here, uh, anytime I see Mr. Sinister, uh, I think Warlock, okay? Uh, I could have gotten a mutant uh, mission if I brought in Corvus, but not against Mr. Sinister, all right? And I see we have a Killmonger. Again, Corvus is great for that fight. All right, so right now what it's looking like uh, is Claire. It's looking like Warlock. And the third one, I can bring in Nick Fury, Omega Red, or Corvus. If I bring in Corvus, I can take down this Guardian. I can take down this um, sentinel here. I will have at least the one uh, charge from that. And that will give me a little bit, uh, put me in a little bit better position uh, to take out this Killmonger with my Corvus, if I need to do that. Uh, Warlock can handle that... Um, Mr. Sinister and Claire should be able to handle everything else. All right, so looking over here, um, if I go to the right, and I am wary of that man thing, but Claire can do that man thing. Uh, that warlock, I don't like that node, so I usually try to avoid fighting it, and often whoever is going to come in and, and handle these bosses just boosts up really big and then just clears... Uh, all of that out. Uh, it might be our backup unless they're needed somewhere else. Uh, and of course, Domino, my warlock, could handle her. Uh, so could Corvus. And to the left, uh, I'm looking at that void. I run suicide, so that is no good. Uh, the Namor here, I probably could take that out with Corvus, but yeah. Uh, we'll see. Now, AQ is on, so I won't have my five-star Awakened Corvus. So if I did bring Corvus, it's going to be the six-star version of Corvus. And uh, let's see. So yeah, so that's what it's looking like right now. Um, now, one thing that would be great is with Corvus, I don't know if he's going to bring Corvus. Uh, I would. Uh, but if he didn't bring Corvus, this would give me uh, another mission. And this would give me another mission. And then I'd be all powered up. But that is also something that uh, he can do as well. Bring Corvus and uh, take that out. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know what he's planning to do. But uh, that's what I would do uh, if I had that path. All right, so we're going to 
uh, come back and I will comment on the fight. I won't do it live so that I can focus on the fights and not trying to comment at the same time as fighting. That way, uh, I will also be able to have that perspective of after the fight, looking over the fight, analyzing it so that I can talk to you guys uh, about what's going on. All right, so we will be right back. All right, so that's the team I'm going in with. As I mentioned earlier, uh, nothing has changed. And I learned something this war. And if you don't already know it, we're going to learn it together. All right, so they didn't place a defender on the first node. So my first fight is going to be against Guardian. So, of course, I brought Corvus. Uh, Corvus will be able to pick up a charge, a mission. And it was possible for me to get two missions because of the auto blocking. But I wasn't going to try for it. All right. Now, at this time, I have a lot of uh, items in my overflow. And so I'm trying to use these guys up. OK, see how I'm capped out on the 20 uh, percent attack health boost. Uh, so I'm trying to use them up. And uh, it actually did come in handy, not necessarily for uh, this fight here, but when I went over to AQ, it made my life a little bit easier because I was still boosted up. All right, so this fight is fairly straightforward. Um, I'm just doing medium, light medium, and I'm watching the health, and I'm like, okay. And you can see I did a five hit combo there, and I just blocked because in Alliance War, you're punished so much if you mess up and the AI plays a little bit differently in Alliance War and certain things happen in Alliance War that don't happen other places. So it's better just to block. Um, I hate doing that because I don't want to get into the habit of doing that. But for War, it's, it's safer. Now, here comes the learning experience. So we are going up against this Sentinel. Strike counter fury, so either you ignore the node and you're going to um, just not be able to fire specials off, or you try to play around the node uh, and, wait, no, 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 sorry. Uh, you won't, you'll have power to do your specials, but he's going to build up fury charges. Um, it's, it's in section two that uh, you won't have any power, but in section one, they're just going to build up Furies. All right. Now, if you saw the global, the defense tactic, it's protect. That makes this fight not a good idea to do with Corvus. I was boosted up. See, he's already got protection. And now I'm doing less damage. But you can see I'm chewing him up. And I'm just like, okay, I got this. You know, now to remove these protection stacks, I've got to intercept him. Okay, so you see, I'm trying to intercept, trying to intercept, and he's not attacking me. All right, every time I hit him, he gets another stack. All right, so I'm just like, all right, now what do I do? All right, got to, got to get that intercept. You know, nope, didn't do that one. Got the protection up, so I'm not doing any damage. Okay, so we're just trying to get him to attack. Um, he attacked there, but he had a special, so I didn't want to go for the intercept. All right, now, all right, got the intercept. Oh, he didn't want to play ball. All right, hit him again, got another stack of protection. You see what the problem is, right? All right, and then I just got knocked out. All right, um, I didn't force quit. Um, I, I actually hit the button by accident uh, is what happened there. Uh, wasn't trying to force quit. Wouldn't have made a difference anyway. Um, I wasn't planning on using uh, Corvus after that. Not going to revive him, not going to do anything. Uh, and so I sat here stunned. All right. And you saw how quick, because of those furies, he was able to take me down. All right. That was completely my fault. So first mini, second fight 
and I'm already dead. I was not a pleased person. I do not like dying in war. Um, I don't like dying, period. So I sat here and I asked um, if they wanted me to go in and I didn't hear anything and I'm sitting here just salty. And I'm like, you know what? I'm boosted up. Oh, I'm going after him. See, when I get beat like that, that don't make me want to run. That made me want to fight some more. All right, so now I'm just going in. I'm doing medium light, medium attacks to keep his analysis charges down. And I'm not too worried. Black Widow Clairvoyant is awesome. I should have used her in the first place. Corvus, very bad option for that fight. Do not bring Corvus in fighting a large or extra large champion, especially if you're boosted up. You'll trigger that deep, uh, protection all the time. All right, so coming off of that loss, I'm not about to jump in here and fight this kingpin. So I sat there to see if they needed me to fight him, um, but others had a better uh, counter for him on that node. Um, I was asked to, you know, please clear this uh, uh, clairvoyant. So I'm like, oh, for sure. I could do that. You know, she's almost gone. I can, I can give her a couple of love taps, take her down. All right, so... Again, I've got these guys in my overflow, as you see, capped. Um, and I haven't claimed yet. Um, oh, wait, I did claim, which is why uh, it's capped again on the 20 percenter. Um, but I decided to just do the little 10 percent for right now. And uh, I'm determined not to die anymore this war. OK, very determined. All right. So easy. Just clean up. Nothing, uh, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Um, <laughs> clean up on aisle three. So on to section two. And I'm going to fight Heimdall for the first one. Now, Heimdall is not difficult to fight, but you don't want to push him to a special two. And you want to hope that you can bait out that special one because otherwise he's annoying. Okay. Now... What you want to do, because he will auto block you, and you'll see me doing it. Um, you know, I'm waiting for him because I'm not trying to get caught. All right, so now here, I'm going to bait out the special one. And you're going to see that I don't immediately punish the special one. That's a good way to get auto blocked. All right, see, I'm backing off, and then I parry heavy. Now I can go ahead and fight. All right, do my uh, five hit combo and just do that burst damage. And he's almost gone. Okay, so once again, I backed off heavy. And if you can get the um, uh, spacing right, you can do a heavy attack, counter his special one with a heavy, uh, depending on who you have. All right, but you can see here, I'm just playing it safe, backing off, and then here, I was going to try to see if I could get a little heal in, but he was already too far gone. Uh, there was no way I was going to be able to get a special two off to get any healing back. Uh, fortunately, she's not really that hurt. Uh, so Heimdall is down. Now we're going to go up against this Mr. Sinister. And Mr. Sinister, he is annoying. You can see he's... Uh, um, I think, what is that? He was he a large champion or extra large champion? Uh, I forget. But again, you wouldn't have wanted to bring in Corvus against him anyway. But I had already planned to use uh, Warlock. Warlock is a great counter for having. Uh, unless the node prevents it, he's a great counter. Now, also, because of Warlock's size, I believe he's extra large, um, even if our opponent gets protections i just have to knock him down just do a heavy attack and it wipes out all of the protection charges because of his size i believe it's large and extra large um that can just knock them down and remove all the protection charges so he is a great counter uh i could have also used him 
against that Sentinel in the uh, first section. Uh, Warlock is just a beast. And uh, so uh, for you guys that uh, left a comment about me always using Omega Red, there's no Omega Red on my team. Uh, I, I try to rotate depending on who I'm going up against. Now, I had thought about taking that guy, uh, Killmonger, with Corvus. That's dead. Corvus is dead, knocked out, not touching that guy. So uh, my alliance mates came in, took out the Killmonger without too much difficulty. All right, so now I was asked to uh, get that domino down. And yeah, my Warlock, Beast. Now, remember I mentioned that um, boosting up somewhat helped me. Here, uh, you didn't see it, but I'm actually, yeah, see here? See those uh, tech boosts? The reason that I have those tech boosts on uh, and the attack boosts, look at the time of them. I'm actually in uh, Act 6 finishing up exploration of 6.3. So I was already boosted to do that. And when I got the call, they tagged me and said, you know, um, can your warlock take that domino? Well, they that, that's what I was waiting for. Now, I popped in an invulnerability boost because I lost to Sentinel in section one, and I'm not dying again. And Domino can be pretty tricky. So I'm trying to play it relatively safe here. Uh, I like her double hits because it just um, allows me to get the infection up on her faster. All right. So um, she's lucky at this point. Uh, I can freely evade because I'm tech. Uh, Warlock is just a beautiful counter to Domino. All right. Look at that. Even intercepting, having myself a ball. All right, now, the way you normally would fight her, you can intercept and uh, uh, just wait for her to dash and then immediately counter her dash attack. But look at these special twos I'm getting off because of the boost. She don't stand a chance. Look at this, I'm back to a special two again. That's some nasty stuff. Those boosts make a difference, a huge difference, as you can see. That fight, I still would have beaten her, but not as quickly all right so that's the end of my participation in this war uh so uh, after an intermission and i don't believe we have any recorded fights for the other fight so we'll be right back and we're back and as you can see we won this war despite my mess up with that sentinel in section one we pulled it off and look at the score. This was another very close war. This could have gone either way, okay? So shout out to Avengers. You guys fought a very good war. Uh, kudos to you. Uh, but we have lost, I believe, two wars this season. So we are poised to be able to finish in Platinum 3. Uh, we are probably still going to go for the win. Uh, at least one other war, and then they'll do some number crunching and see if we can just coast for the last uh, few wars, just do boss rushes. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video, and you all have a blessed day.